Hello friends, this is Nilima. Welcome to NG Classes. Our today's topic is Number Properties. There are four basic properties of number. The first one is Commutative Property. Second one is Associative Property. Third one is Distributive Property. And fourth one is Identity Property. You should be familiar with each of these properties. So let's see one by one and the first one is commutative property. Commutative property is true for addition and multiplication. When two numbers are added, the sum is the same regardless of the order in which the numbers are added. A plus B equals B plus A. For example, 3 plus 5 equals 8 and 5 plus 3 equals 8. For multiplication, in commutative property, A multiplied by B equals B multiplied by A. That is 3 multiplied by 5 equals 15 and 5 multiplied by 3 equals 15. That means in commutative property, Sum and product is the same regardless of the order in which the numbers are placed. The next one is associative property. Associative property is also true for addition and multiplication. When there are three or more numbers added, the sum is the same regardless of the way in which the numbers are grouped. Here we have three variables a, b and c. In first case, two numbers that is two variable b and c are grouped and in second case a and b is grouped. So we get a plus in bracket b plus c bracket closed equals in bracket a plus b bracket closed plus c. Now let's verify it with example. So 6 plus in bracket 4 plus 3 bracket closed equals 13 and in bracket 6 plus 4 bracket closed plus 3 equals 13. Means in both type of grouping answer is same. Now for multiplication we have A multiplied by in bracket B multiplied by C bracket closed equals in bracket A multiplied by B bracket closed multiplied by C. With example verify it 6 multiplied by in bracket 4 multiplied by 3 equals 72 and 6 multiplied by 4 in bracket and out of the bracket multiplied by 3 equals 72. In both condition in both grouping answer is same. The next property is distributive property. Distributive property is true for addition and subtraction. Here we have A multiplied by in bracket B plus C bracket closed equals in bracket A multiplied by B plus in another bracket A multiplied by C. For example, 5 multiplied by in bracket 7 plus 2 gives 45. Similarly, in one bracket 5 multiplied by 7 plus in another bracket 5 multiplied by 2 equals 45. This is also for subtraction as A multiplied by in bracket B minus C equals in bracket A multiplied by B bracket closed minus in bracket a multiplied by c bracket closed. So we get 5 multiplied by in bracket 7 minus 2 equals 25 and in bracket 5 multiplied by 7 minus in another bracket 5 multiplied by 2 gives you 25. Means for this type of grouping Distributive property is true for addition and subtraction. Now the next property is identity property. 
identity property is true for addition and multiplication the sum of any number and zero is that number for example a plus zero equals a for multiplication the product of any number and one is that number as a multiplied by one equals a for example 6 multiplied by 1 equals 6. Knowing these properties of number will improve your understanding of maths. If you like this video, please share with your friends. Subscribe my YouTube channel. 